Hi, how's it going? Michael? Yes. Okay, thank you. As you might have guessed, I am in Cleveland, Ohio. I'm actually out here finishing up a three-week tour with Elevation. I've been out here teching for them. Today we've got a day off, so I'm checking out the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Here's the little bomba guitar. It's just a cacophony of noise and music in here right now. I think I'm in between a few different things. I just got back here to my hotel from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. As you might guess, um, it's really loud in there. There's a lot of music being played all over the place and um, you know different video things and interview pieces being played all throughout it. So I wasn't able to get a lot of video of me going through it and talking about the different things. But as you've probably already seen up until this point, I'm gonna cut in a ton of B-roll footage um, because I was able to get a lot of great video there. Overall, I was super impressed with it and it's definitely worth the trip. Um, one cool thing is that I wasn't sure if I had just heard this and people say this or if it was actually true, but if you're a touring musician, um, you're on tour and you're in a band, you can get into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame for free, which is very cool. Um, I showed them my pass and they you know, asked me to kind of prove if I was on tour and all that stuff. And um, and I was able to do that easily and they let me in. So, um, you know, props to them for that. that. I think that's really cool that they're allowing touring musicians to come in for free because they're essentially, you know, furthering rock and roll and furthering music. So some of the standout things to me were um, the Beatles exhibit, the Let It Be exhibit, kind of all about um, you know the making of that and the rooftop concert. They had John Lennon's Casino there, which is super cool to see in person. Um, there were also a couple of guitars, or I think there were three guitars uh, of Hendrix's. collection of John Mayer. You know, lots of uh, just kind of smaller, you know, maybe more influential people that aren't necessarily as famous, um, like Lightning Hopkins, um, Muddy Waters, uh, you know, just guitars and clothing and then, you know, different contracts and letters and set lists and all that kinds of stuff um, all throughout for all kinds of different people. They also had John Lennon's Mellotron that was played on Strawberry Fields. That was super cool to see and it looked very different than, you know, the typical Mellotrons that you have. Um, and it was cool, you know, to kind of be able to see into the back of it and see how it was built and everything. Um, normally you just kind of get to see the front of them and, and see what it looks like. But uh, just being able to be that close to it and actually see it all was really cool. Of course, another super iconic guitar that they have there is a Les Paul 
that is Keith Richards um, that has the, the paint on it. It's a black beauty with the three humbuckers. Um, that's on the fifth floor, it's at the very top. That whole exhibit on the very top of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, uh, I thought was super cool. It was four different people and then they had videos of those people kind of talking about their rig and talking about their sound and just kind of talking about how they, um, you know, kind of got to their sound and how they kind of found their sound in the instrument. People like Eddie Van Halen, uh, there was a, a interview and a thing with him talking about tapping and Keith Richards as well as um, Tom Morello from Rage Against the Machine, uh, kind of talking about just finding his sound and um, you know his influences and all of that stuff. That, that whole exhibit up at the very top, I found really, really interesting and just well put together. I mean, everything there was super well done. Um, it's just a really nice museum and uh, flows well and there's a lot of great stuff there. Um, there was very little that, you know, was, wasn't very interesting. Everything there uh, from, you know, the influences and uh, people that kind of influence rock and roll to, you know, greats, uh, like the Beatles and the Rolling Stones and on and on. Lots of great stuff and it's kind of hard to remember everything I saw today just off the top of my head. So I'm going to enjoy going back through the footage and kind of uh, reliving that a bit. This tour wraps up this weekend. Today is Thursday. Our last show is on Sunday at uh, Radio City Music Hall in New York and then I will fly home on Monday. Um, a couple days after that, I will be headed out with Noah Guthrie playing bass. Um, they had somebody cancel them last minute, so I'm jumping in with them on that. So really looking forward to that. I'm sure I'll be making a video. Um, Rhett's on that gig, so looking forward to playing with him and hanging with all those guys once again. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. Um, I have been doing a few more shorts lately, just kind of giving that a shot. Um, let me know what you think about those, and if you haven't seen them, go check them out. All right, until next time, I'll see you out there.